Welcome back to another video. So, uh, I got, I finally got my, uh, Art the Clown mask in the mail from Trick or Treat Studios. Or this on Amazon. Hopefully I get a decent copy. So, uh, box is a little bit messed up, unfortunately, but, uh, you know. Let's just, uh, get this open. I brought out my, uh, pocket knife. It's an old, old pocket knife. I don't know where this is from. But, uh, ugh. On. There we go. I think I actually have a better idea for this Hold on. Let's put the knife away. Let's take this out. Alright. Um well I'm just gonna pause the video real quick. Alright guys, I'm back. And uh it got open. It was a little bit stuck for some reason. So uh Got the paper. Here's the mask. Oh, yes. I've been wanting a uh, Art the Clown mask for a while. I just haven't gotten around to it. This is the uh, Trick or Treat Studios one. Let's put this paper in the box. So, uh, a little warm because it's the summer, but, uh, alright, so there's no misshapenness or anything like that. It's really, really nice latex. Kind of reminds me of the uh, Salt Pig mask. This looks a lot better in person. I was expecting it to look this good. There's the uh, little tag. $52.99. Not at all what I paid for it. I paid $53.99, but you know what? Whatever. It was free shipping, so can't really get mad. The nose is a little off-center, but I don't really care about that. The eyes... Oh, so I thought the eyes were going to be smaller. Thankfully, they're not. So, uh... Yeah, overall, it's a pretty nice mask. Uh... Here, I'll get on a head for you guys. Just give me a minute. Okay, guys, so I got off the, uh... I got on the, uh... Head stand here, and here's what it looks like. It looks really, really nice. Um, top hat is latex, but it uh, stays up, thankfully. And uh, the textures are great on this, and the the white is the same on the hood and the face, but it, it's really just meant to be all white. And the teeth are uh, all texture. Ooh. Um, the paint actually makes it kind of this like sticky glossy like you know what i mean and the chin's really nice too the chin's textured the nose too the cheekbones too it looks really really cool uh i do have one complaint about this and it's nothing really serious it's just they have like pink around the eyes i'm not a huge fan of that uh not really a huge fan that they add in eyes but uh if it really does bother me i'll just come out no biggie i don't think i will but you know if it does come to that i will cut the eyes out so it's revealing my own eyes. I can have, you know, black eyeshadow or whatever the hell. Uh, black makeup underneath. Uh, that should work. But, um, yeah, it uh, it looks really nice. Uh, once again, here's the tag. Uh, this is sculpt sculpted by Russ Lukic. I have no idea who that is. I've never had a mask from him, I don't think. I think the only person I've ever had a mask... From Trick or Treat Studios, I believe, was, uh, what's his name? The guy who does the Myers masks. I have no idea what his name is. I'm sorry. But yeah, really, it was meant to be a quick video. I really like this mask. Uh, if you guys are a fan of the Terrifier movie, uh, definitely recommend getting this mask. It looks really, really cool. And, uh, with the new movie coming out, I'm most likely going to be Art the Clown for Halloween. So, uh, 
Yeah, guys, uh, let me know what you uh, think about Terrifier down in the comments below. Let me know uh, what your thoughts are uh, or predictions for uh, Terrifier 2 are going to be. So uh, thank you guys for watching this video, and uh, you guys have a good day.